Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag has finally explained his decision to exile Jadon Sancho after Marcus Rashford's recent antics. Eric Ten Hag has spoken out on his reasoning behind Jadon Sancho's Manchester United exile for the first time under questioning about the club's disciplinary action against Marcus Rashford. On Wednesday, the United boss fielded relentless inquiries about Rashford after last week's controversial Belfast bender. Ten Hag dropped the troubled forward in the FA Cup fourth-round trip to Newport County on Sunday after it emerged that he was at a Belfast nightclub just hours before reporting too ill for Friday training. Rashford was reportedly fined the maximum of two weeks' wages, worth around £650,000, and told to train alone at Carrington while United beat the league two-side 4-2 at Rodney Parade. On Monday, the Red Devils confirmed that the internal matter had been resolved and that Rashford had returned to first-team training ahead of Thursday's Premier League clash at Wolves. The announcement sparked concerns that Ten Hag had lost his disciplinarian edge, having shown no mercy to Sancho and Cristiano Ronaldo before him. However, Ten Hag has revealed that Sancho's punishment, a four-month banishment before being loaned back to Borussia Dortmund, was more extreme because he decided to take an internal matter public. We can sort out everything internally. Jadon chose to go public. It has nothing to do with the relationship between me and Marcus, the Dutchman explained. Sancho essentially called Ten Hag a liar after he claimed that the 23-year-old had been dropped against Arsenal at the start of September due to poor training performances. He then reportedly refused to apologize during a crunch meeting with Ten Hag and football director John Murtuff, prompting his removal from the first team picture. It remains to be seen whether Rashford will return to the starting lineup for Thursday's Premier League encounter with Wolves. But Ten Hag is keen to move on from the ordeal, confirming that the England international had taken responsibility for his actions.